Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to model a pile of leaves using some leaf assets. So I actually just released Leafify which is a asset pack of 40 leaf models. Uh, you can use your own or you can download my Leafify pack to make this. So assuming you have some leaf assets, let's continue. So here's how you make a pile of leaves. We're going to start by deleting everything and we're going to start by just modeling kind of a pile type mesh. So with the plane, I'm going to subdivide it a couple times. We want a good amount of geometry. I'm going to select a piece or face in the middle, and with proportional editing, bring that upwards. Okay, so this is going to be the base for our pile of leaves. Now in geometry nodes, what we want to do is we basically want to distribute a bunch of points, and for each one of those points, give it a unique leaf. So uh, with geometry nodes, I'm going to distribute points on faces, bring up this to like, let's say 2000. And we need to start instancing things on here. So again, using Leafify or your own assets, I'm gonna go into the asset browser, Leafify. I'm gonna bring in a couple of different leaves. So I want uh, this one, this one. Let's see this in look dev mode so we can actually see what's going on. Um, I want this one. So I'm going for kind of autumn leaves, uh, really. And I think five of them should be fine. Take your leaf assets and hit M, new collection, and call this leaves. So we now have a collection of leaf assets. And what we can now do is bring that into geometry nodes. So we go to collection info, we say leaves. And then if we take our points and we instance on points, we should be able to connect this right here. Now notice it's trying to copy all of the assets on each one. Uh, we want to separate children and make sure this is on pick instance so that each one's picking an instance. These are way too big, so I'm going to bring the scale down with a bit of randomization. So let's say it can be from 0 to 0.1. And now you can see this is much more reasonable. You can actually see. Uh, again, what pick instance does is it makes sure we don't have all five leaves on each point. It picks one randomly. Um, so... I want to kind of play around with the scale of the leaves, and you want to make sure the rotation is mapped to the uh, surface. So we get something like this. Uh, I'm going to go, and we can also reset children so it's centered. Uh, I'm gonna go for, let's say, 4,000 points now that we know what it looks like. And this is a good start. However, uh, it doesn't look very randomized. It just kind of looks like we applied a texture onto here. So we need to add some randomization. What I'm going to do for the rotation, actually, is I'm going to send it through an align Euler vector, the uh, normal coordinates. So this is effectively going to give us the same control. But the difference is we can uh, put in a random vector. And this will uh, add a bit of rotation like this. And we can use another random vector uh, right here to add a bit more rotation. So vector math, randomization. I'm going to go from negative 0.2 to 0.2. Whoops. It does not, it really does not want to select this right now. That is strange. Okay, we'll do it manually. 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And that's just going to add a bit of random, randomness. So you can see it's not all perfectly level. Um, another thing we can do, and this is going to be huge, all the points are directly on the surface we can offset some of them. So I'm going to set position of the points. Anytime we want to change the position of something, we're going to set position by the normal, and we're going to scale that effect of how much it's going by the normal. So you can see it's kind of expanding outwards, right? We do this by a random vector, a random value. So somewhere between 0 and let's say it goes from negative 0.03 to 0.03. And that looks pretty good. So here's without this effect, and here's after. It just adds a good bit of randomness to this. And we can uh, make this a bit more intense, the random rotation. So I'm gonna go from negative 0.5 to 0.5. You just wanna play around with these values, find something that works for you. Uh, but I think this looks pretty good. Let's see what it looks like in cycles using GPU. So we actually get shadows and all this. Uh, I'm going to load in an HDRI environment, so we can actually have a bit of lighting here. And I believe, ignore all the images of stable diffusion of me, I've been going on a, a bit of a parade over on CG Matter. 
if you guys haven't seen. Um, I'm going to use an HDRI, and this is actually going to introduce a new issue. You're going to see that it looks pretty good, um, except that there's actually some blackness in here. Uh, why is that? Well, it's not because of shadows. It's actually because the light rays aren't reaching inside of here through the transparency. Uh, so that's an easy fix. Just go to the uh, render tab, go to light paths, and the transparent. You see if I bring this down, the situation gets worse. So we want to bring it up. And as I bring it up, more leaves and more leaves are going to be revealed. So a value of 20 should be pretty good. So here's our pile of leaves. And now the cool thing is it's all procedural. So at any point, I can just add in another leaf asset. Again, leafify. Um, I'm going to add another leaf asset. So let's say we want a bit of green in here. So I'm going to use this green. And I'm going to append it to the leaf collection and hide it. So now you can see we have some green leaves as well. And I believe if we scale this down, or if we scale it down in edit mode, it should uh, scale down the, um, the green leaf asset. So we can say the green leaves are a bit smaller. And there you go. That's how you make a uh, pile of leaves. Looks pretty good, I think. Uh, we can also, at any point, modify the surface. So we get, like, you know, piles of leaves that look a bit more random. But there you go. Uh, link in the description for Leafify. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.